Hi there. In this video, we're going to take a look at comparing distributions. Now, in the GCSEs, you could be asked to compare two different distributions, and they could be uh, you could, one could be a stem and leaf diagram, one could be a box and whisker, you could have cumulative frequency curves, you could have histograms, uh, or you could be just given um, the information that you need. So there's lots of different ways this uh, type of question can come up, but the important thing to note is that you need to comment on a range or interquartile range where possible, which basically tells you how varied the data is, and also compare an average. Uh, more often than not, the average you're going to be talking about will be the median. And then finally, just uh, explain what these comparisons tell you. So let's take a look at an example here. So we've got a cumulative frequency curve displaying uh, the year nine math scores, and we also have a box and whisker plot displaying the year eight test scores. And we're asked to compare the two classes. And like I said before, you're gonna wanna comment on an average and a range. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go to my cumulative frequency curve and work out what the median is, the upper quartile and lower quartile. So we end up with this. So the median is around about 55. We've got a lower quartile of 51 and an upper quartile of 70. Now, what does that tell me when I compare that to the year eight class? So let's just take a look at the medians. Uh, the median of the year nine class is 55. The median of the year eight class is also 55. So on average, we could say both classes scored roughly the same. Uh, there's no major difference in the average score. But if we take a look at the interquartile range for both classes, we can see that the year nine's interquartile range is actually 19. So we got 70 take away 51 gave us the 19. However, the year eight class is 73 take away 19, which is 54. So that tells me that the year nine class is far more consistent than the year eight class. In other words, the year eight class scores were far more varied. And you'll get full marks for an answer such as this. Okay, time for you to have a go. So a similar question, year eights, year nines, compare the two test scores. Okay, hopefully you've had a go at that. Uh, I'll just bring up the solutions I had. So um, what I've said here is that the median of year nine was around about 48, whereas year eight was about 55. So I could say on average, year eight did better. Uh, however, the interquartile range for year nine was 22, for year eight was 25, Year 9 class was a little bit more consistent, and the Year 8 class was a little bit more varied. Not a huge difference, but no problem to mention that there. As I said before, you could be asked to compare different um, representations of, of, uh, of data. So you, you could have a stem and leaf diagram. You could have a histogram. So just be prepared to comment on medians and uh, range or more preferably interquartile range to get your marks. Uh, that's all from me. Hopefully you found the video useful. Uh, best of luck with the revision and I'll talk to you again sometime.